my beautiful fans are bringing me back here, my um, uh, good uh, promoters, you know, they have had a uh, lot of trust in me. They have been supporting me many years already, actually. So, but, but the audience here, I'm really, really glad to be back in Romania because I've been here not only performing heavy metal or rock in general, I've been also singing classical music and uh, some Christmas music as well. So I have a really uh, warm relationship with Romania. Happy to be back. Do you find it more difficult to perform as a solo artist than in a band? Uh, I wouldn't say it's difficult. I would say it's very different. And uh, as a matter of fact, um, everything is very different. The whole organization uh, as a solo artist is very different rather than being in a band, you know, because I am making my decisions on my own. I have as well the responsibility to do things, you know, I have to be aware that everybody is happy to work with me. It's tough sometimes, but it's a beautiful freedom that I have. That is the greatest thing, you know. I can compose music on my own. I can uh, choose the people to work with on my own. And uh, have people there to respect each other. It's, it's wonderful. So I don't have that much pressure on my shoulders. I'm really free, happy. <laughs> so you if you could choose only one song, from all those recordings from your whole career, uh, a song that you would be remembered by, what would it be? A song that I would be remembered by, wow, wow. Ah, huh, that's a tough one. <laughs> mm. uh, that is a really difficult question. I'm running through all the songs, you know, in my career. Wow. It, you know, there are wonderful songs existing. I've been so lucky, girl, to be able to sing lots of beautiful music. I mean, music in classical world, music in heavy metal, music in a crossover, even in pop. So there are beautiful songs written for me. But I would love to be able to one day uh, make a song, uh, compose a song like, uh, for example, Bohemian Rhapsody or something that people will say, well, that's her. And like it was Bohemian Rhapsody, that's Queen. <laughs> that was Freddie Mercury. So um, I still, I think I haven't, I am not there yet, you know, as a songwriter myself. So I have a lot of things to learn and uh, explore as a songwriter myself. So that's why I'm very, you know, I'm very positive about the future also, because there are always new things to learn in music. Thank you, looking forward to seeing you tonight. Thank you, me too. <laughs> I'm working on it at the moment. I've been writing around 20 songs already that, um, that I'm going to be choosing from those which ones are eventually going to end up to the album. Uh, the, the album has kind of... Um, it's, a, it's a process that is continuing from my winter storm, from my first album, but it has some things very clear that I was not able to deliver on my first album yet. Things like uh, songs that are more heavier than are, they are going to be really heavy this time. Very clear that this is a heavy track with the elements of, uh, of uh, films, with the sounds like I already did in the first album. And uh, then there are songs that are very, very film sort of kind of uh, moody songs. That is a part of me as well. It's a also a connection between me and the classical music, the film music kind of songs. So these two things are in balance very, very well in the new album. And 
The new album is called What Lies Beneath, and uh, every song has something to do with the title. I mean, what lies beneath in us as human beings, what, be what lies beneath in our uh, words, uh, our way of being when we are talking with people. Is it really me talking, or I just need to say something like this? What is there behind my words, you know? These kind of things. And, and also what is beneath the surface on a, of the water. I'm a scuba diver, you know? And <laughs> I, love the, I love the underwater world. So that is fascinating world as well. So I wanted to, I wrote a song that has everything to do with that. Even the soundscapes, everything is like that. You can feel yourself scuba diving if you haven't tried it yet. <laughs> yeah.